So here I am in my wig cap, getting myself ready for the day. I have um, a couple of appointments, um, basically on at the same time, which is all good, all good fun. Um, I've already done my primer, which is this one by Elf. Absolutely love this. Really need a little bit. Does all the entire face. I've put on my contour stick which is from Collection, which is vegan and cruelty free. Um, I have also added my um, MUA concealer under the eyes to hide my bags <laughs> and try and smooth out any fine lines and wrinkles and make me feel a bit more glamorous. Um, I've added a bit of foundation as well, going around the eyes and um, in the areas that the concealer has not. Um, I've added my bronzing block so I've done that in my cheek areas going across my forehead giving me a natural sun kissed glow um, this is vegan and cruelty free as is the highlight which I have also used going down my nose oh yeah I forgot actually I haven't done an area I'm gone Down my lip, I forgot that one. Honey Cupid's bow. Right. I've sort of fast forwarded a little bit because it's like I'm sure you don't want to see me just applying bits and bobs that most people see on a day to day basis anyway. Um so this is Luna from ALF, my very, my very well used highlight, it's my absolute favourite, love this. Um, and then blusher on the cheeks which is from MUA, this is Atomic Tangerine, again cruelty free and vegan and I love this because it is very clearly marked right on the back there. Um, as is all their products. I know the mascara has got the Leaping Bunny and the Cruelty Vegan um, little bits on it as well. So rather, rather fab. Um, a lot of companies like MUA and Revolution and I can't think of a few others to name. Um, Elf as well. They're all at Superdrug, places like that. Um, have a look round. Just keep studying all your labels, basically. That's what you do. And Google. If in doubt, because some companies are not entirely vegan and cruelty free. So <clears throat> what you need to do is, is to find out which ones are cruelty free and vegan. Vegan means that it doesn't contain any animal ingredients in there. So there's no beeswax, there's no lanolin, there's no... Other things, there are so many horrible things from animals that are put into makeup to make it thicker, to make it last longer, to make it this, to make it that. And you can buy plenty of fantastic vegan and cruelty free products that are out there. So it's all a load of tosh, it's just a sales technique, isn't it, really? So this is from Crystal Waves, that is by Makeup Obsession. I absolutely love this palette, I use this a lot. Um, it says they're very clearly cruelty free and vegan. I know it's not the most clearest on my phone, but it is there, trust me. This is what it looks like inside. I absolutely love this because it's got fantastic highlights in there, which I love to use on my brow bone, for example. Um, the silver is amazing. All the colours are all beautiful. I've used them all now. Um, eyebrows, I didn't do them. I'll do them in a sec. I thought, God, I'm missing something here. Eyebrows. So, this is my little palette that I use. Uh, the dark brown that's in this is fab. And I use this for my brows. Um, there we go. I use the, the natural one there to set my primer on my eyes. Um... I'm just going to quickly do my brows. Let me move my mirror over slightly so at least you can see something. 
Although at the minute we're going to see is the back of my hand. I'm sorry because I'm left handed and it's a bit awkward. Right. Yeah, I've got appointments today. So this is why I somehow am awake. Cats brawling wake me up as well, which was a great help. Um, yeah, I had. I've got appointments today. I've got my podiatrist coming. That's a foot practitioner, foot lady. Because I can't get down there to tidy my feet up, my toenails and all the other manky bits. <laughs> feet aren't attractive, are they? We don't like feet. I know I don't. I hate them. Um, She'll tidy all the skin up and all the grot that goes with your feet um she is ace i don't know if she does her job to be fair i couldn't do it oh god no so yeah so i've got her coming and then i've got my occupational therapist coming out who is going to go and do an examination of the bathroom the wet room um I've had Mediquip come out. They're a company that come out um, to fit rails and things because I'm disabled um, to make it a bit safer in there. So when I stand, I'm not flying over because the floor can get very slippy. Um, and my balance isn't amazing anyway with my arthritis. Um, so <clears throat> anyway, she's coming out. Um, I've had six people coming out to do the job of one person. Um, I've needed them to come out to put this rail up in my bathroom. And they've completely not really messed it up. And I don't want water getting in the holes and the damp. Plus to the fact I need some big jobs doing and if the small jobs can't be done properly then it does worry me that the council will turn around and say no to the big jobs that need doing if the small jobs can't be done professionally. But I'm hoping that's not the case. Um, because the big jobs are very important jobs. I need a kitchen um, adapting to my needs because I'm in a chair. Um, I need um, I need a lot doing basically. I'm going to use the purple on the top to start. This is my Revolution palette called Sprinkles. This is such a pretty palette, very zingy colours. I'll show you, there you go. I just love it, it's my favourite palette. Um, and I just thought I would use this today. I've used it quite a few times, it's one of my favourite. I prefer colours to all the neutrals. Everybody's different, some people prefer... Um, neutrals and the browns and the beiges and all that sort of stuff i don't i hardly use those sort of colors on their own i will be honest i much prefer um the colors it's just how i am the wallflower that likes to stand out that's me so there's the eyebrows and the top of my eye done and then I will add with my concealer stick for the next colour that's going to be put on. Give me a minute, Kurt, I'll sort you out. 
Um, so I've just added a little bit under the eye. Gently apply it around the outside of the eye lid <laughs> just to help the coverage a bit on the next colour. Especially with me having hooded eyes, it needs to be help it can get. Um, again. Right, let's do this. Right, it's that there. I'm going to use um, a thin brush, but not too thin. She says, um, sweet sugar diamond is this yellow. Just to go around the outside of that purple, just to so it's not too much. I know I've not got my lights on today. I've got quite a good natural light today. That's why it's not on at the moment. But I will. Okay, so that's that. Now then, the next colour. To go on. Is. Which one shall I do? Shall I do pink? Um. Look at a candy apple. Candy apple in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Candy apple is a pretty red, but it's got like very cute pink tones in it, so there we go. It's pretty. Um there we go, that's nice. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to use, let me see, let's put this brush down a sec, um, Turkish Delight maybe, or should I go, I know I'm having Fizzy in the middle, or Toffee, um, What about Mallow, the peachy one? That's quite nice. Just in the corners there. I try and do colours that are outside the box rather than the same old, same old stuff all the while. There we go. And then I'll use toffee, which is this fantastic colour here. Let's use another another brush. This is a nice chunky brush, very cute and perfect for like blending it out. So I'll dab it on for a sec, as you can see there. I love it. It's just it doesn't look special, but you'd be surprised. And then you just sort of blend it, and then. 
your brush that you've used previously say on candy apple just give it a tap in and then you're sort of blending the two colors together you know so it all ties in nice rather than just chuck it on and just leave it oh what's gone on the floor let me get that before my cats decide to play with it okay oh dear me right so that's that eye done I just love it the more for the colour so you've got the purple the red and then you've got the the peachy colour couldn't think then um, and it all just fires up nice. I love it. Just beautiful. Yeah, this palette just is a favourite of mine. I have got a new one of another palette that's sitting there that I'm not going to touch until I've used a few palettes because you've got dates, expiry dates on your, on your makeup. You know, don't think. Uh, makeup doesn't have an expiry because it does it's this one yeah makeup does have an expiry believe it or not and I wouldn't go too madly past the date because you know when you're sticking your brushes in and I mean, think about it, it's touching your face and then you've got bacteria from your, your own eyes. And when this is like, when it's, that's why the things have got dates on them, because it's like your mascaras. When you're constantly applying that to your eyes and then dunking it in, you then swilling around in there with other bacterias tasty um so yeah i think that's really pretty and then i'll tie in um a purple under my eyes and blue because i just love that sort of look um i do i love it so i've got purple raisin I need to hold my eye steady. I'm going to end up poking my eyeballs out. So, raisin's going to come in the corner here. And tie it in with the purple at the top. Everybody has got their own way of applying makeup. Don't think this is a one-size-fits-all. If you like to have things, I'm going to put Jelly Bean on. My favourite, this one. Um, it's like an electric blue. It's very vivid. It's beautiful. There you go. I don't know if you can see that too well. Right. And then you sort of blend a bit together. And then finally, in the inner corners, I'm going to put something... Like the pink, there we go, that's fab, and then I'm going to get um, another brush, it's a little bit soggy, no I don't want to use that, it might ruin what I've done, and then I'm going to just put a bit of this is sherbet here in the corner of my eye. There, look. Just to highlight the eye. There we go. Hmm. So that's that done. 
And then I'm going to move these brushes out of the way. Um, can get back in there. I'm going to put some glitter on now. So I'm going to use this from the Makeup Maniacs palette to get this used up. Um, there's a very pretty pink or there's the orange glitter. I think in the orange glitter. I don't like these pressed palette glitters. Not the same as what I've already got. Not at all. I don't know. I'm just not liking them at all. I'm not. But I'm not going to waste things either. I'm not a fan of them. Because I prefer the ones that go on with a brush. And these just annoy me. Please don't eat that. That's plastic. It will make you sick. Like you're going to understand me, but what the hell. I know I've told you, cat. I've got a cat with a love for plastic and she'll go along and she'll eat it and then she eats bits, swallows bits and then she throws up. And it's just grim. So it just makes a mess of your fingers more than anything else. I don't like it. Blech. It is on. It's not to the standard of what I like. This is why I like brushes because you can di direct, directly apply it to the eye. Um, so this is the Isla Masqua palette. I do like this one. Um, don't use it that that much because some of the colours are a bit like very eveningy, but then I can team it up with a bright as I'm starting to really find out and yeah you know yeah you can get contrasting colours that work really nicely I have favourites um, and I'm trying to use them all basically so just so I've got um, let me get a pointed edged one there it is I couldn't see the woods for the trees then one of these and I'm just going to place it there like so. Fucking hell. I'm not very good at this game. Hang on. Am I? I don't know. I'm not amazing at this, but I do try. I'm hoping my new wig, my next wig is on its way, but I think she only posts once a week. So I may have to wait until I think it'll be Wednesday where she posts it out. That's when I got the last notification. And oh, it's gorgeous. All right. How does that look? I'm hoping that looks okay. They look about even. It's really difficult because your eyes are not the same shape. They're not the same width and everything. They are completely different. One is bigger than the other. Your eye socket area, your holes are completely different. This is why um, you don't have two eyes that look identical. Believe it or not. Some people are like, well, of course you have. No, they're not different sizes um, I'm just going to apply a little bit of glitter from Colourpop on the top of my eye 
I want to get this used up. I want to get some uh, different glitters and things. We're due to go away on holiday. Um, I'm not going to say when, but we are due to go away and it's like when we come back off holiday, that's when I'm going to get myself a few new bits, because I'm hoping most of the spending that I'm having to do will be stopped. Um, oh, at the minute it's all expenses. I've got a very poorly cut that I just don't know how he's gonna be how long he's gonna be around for. I know there's no you can't predict how long but it's like they've got a weigh him and stuff next week and see if he's dropped any weight and I do worry um, because he's an old cat and I don't want him in pain and it's really difficult um, so there's the glitter going on I do like that um, and then I'm going to do my mascara, which is this one here from MUA again, cruelty free and vegan. Not that you can really see that too clearly, but it is there. Um, I'm gonna got something stuck to my lid. It's either a bit of sleep that's stayed in there, or it's uh. Somewhere else, but I oh dear. Um, but yeah, at the minute it's all expenses. I've got a mobility chair that needs sorting out before we go away. Um, so I can take it out and about and use it. Um. I also um, have batteries for scooters that need replacing. I've got a scooter that needs um, a service and bits doing to it. It's just all going, I tell you, it's just constant at the minute. Um, yeah. I thought I'd do that, I don't know why, a bit of randomness. What's the matter, Luna? I can hear her screaming. There you go, I don't know, I just fancied it. Can use those uh, glitter liners for all sorts of things. Um, let me just do this a minute. There you go. Not that you can see an awful lot, but I've put a little bit on the inside as well at the top. Um, brushes. I'll put some on, sod it, I'll do it. Where's my glue? Is it there? It is there. I just don't want this phone to go flying over. There we are. It was behind you.
Right, just pop this on the lash line. Oh, I need to get a few new lashes, to be honest, as well. I might just get some ones of these that I get. Just a couple of packets. And then after we've been away, I think that's when I'm going to do the expenses of buying some new ones. Yeah. I absolutely love lashes. All vegan and cruelty free, by the way. It's shocking the amount of companies that are using real mink lashes. And it just makes me feel quite ill, to be honest. The amount of companies that are using real mink lashes. And they're trying to make it seem totally fine. Oh, it's disgusting. It makes me so angry. It does. It makes me so mad that people are buying them. And it's like, they don't make the connection that it is actually a mink, you know, rather than fake lashes. It makes me so angry. I mean, real mink lashes come from a mink. Lots and lots of minks that are trapped in cages. Um, they can be trapped and put in like groups of them together. Mink are solitary animals. They do not like um, the company of other mink. And they basically will eat each other. And I've seen footage of mink that have eaten an eyeball out of another mink. Um, they've torn and ripped, eaten the ear off another mink. Um, they're not always fed. They're not always watered. They're not always given their food. Their food is often directly chucked on top of the cages. Um, and then obviously bits of food drop to the floor, there's disease, there's maggots, um, so they're living in a really horrible conditions and it's just horrible and then the mink go crazy. in these tiny, tiny cages. Um, they do, they go crazy. They literally are jumping around in this cages. And it is just the most disgusting life that they have. Um, and then they're pulled out of the crate in their short lifespan. <laughs> and uh, they're either smashed over the head or they are gassed in this little um, gas chamber type thing that they've got. They put it in. Sometimes they're still alive um, when they come out and they feel the pain. 
it's horrible it's just a disgusting life sometimes they're skinned alive whilst they're still alive oh it's just horrible what happens here we go and i just think that while they're selling real lashes this is all still continuing there's plenty of alternatives out there why pay for cruelty it's like wearing a fur coat on your eyes basically um it's the exact same abuse that happens on fur farms um mm, that's my brush The fur farms aren't just for eyelashes and coats. Believe it or not, makeup brushes. Um, also, um, they use all sorts of animals for makeup brushes, shaving brushes. Um, and it's just really, really disgusting what goes on. So, check your packaging that they are vegan and cruelty free and um, some companies will use the words vegan and cruelty free uh, especially um, the cruelty free wording there's no such thing as a cruelty free fur farm no such thing so there we are um, so yeah, please do check your packaging because if it doesn't contain the words vegan and cruelty free uh, and look at how it's worded as well. If it says real mink, it will be real. There we go. Right, that is me done. I've just got to get some clothes on and then pop my wig on and feel a bit glamorous. So I'm going to say thanks for watching and until my next vid, bye for now.